The new Huracan comes from a storied legacy, but does it live up to the famous Lamborghini name? So this is the new Lamborghini Huracan. Of course, like many of its predecessors, it's named after a famous Spanish fighting bull. Huracan means hurricane in its native tongue. It's also the Mayan god of fire, wind, and storm. Now, the Huracan has definitely been designed from inception with speed in mind. And yeah, it's a little more restrained in terms of design than some previous Lamborghinis, but it's definitely not a subtle car. Now, genuinely, my first impression, for me, it has retained that Lamborghini sense of design, style, and adventure. It's got that unique, distinctive presence that Lamborghinis, and almost Lamborghinis, solely have. But right now, the Huracan is saying to me, Justin, it is time to leave the refined elegance of the Parker Hotel here in Palm Springs and head out to the wilds of the desert. Well, here we are then, the Lamborghini Huracan out on the open road. Quite literally, I have found my way out of town into this magnificent series of canyons just on my way to the thermal racetrack. It doesn't take long for the Huracan to remind you that this is a full-blown Lamborghini. There's an intuition there that means you don't have to worry about that. The car will do the thinking for you. Feel that, just magnificent through these corners. That Canyon Drive is all about, it's safe in the way it lays down the power. It's safe in the way the steering responds, the suspension reacts. Safe does not equal boring. And what I really like about the Canyon experience is everybody can find a country road or a Canyon to put a hurricane through their paces. Only some of us get to go to the racetrack. Now, right from the moment this car was penned, of course, it incorporated that signature single line that goes from front to rear. You can see those elements of strong architectural panels, but definitely on the Hurricane, I would say that it's got a more relevant shape to the driving design of the modern day. They've allowed for quite a reduction in drag without the use of what are very common these days, active aerospace aerodynamic aids. The rear of the car, my friends, is a thing of beauty. That beautiful Lamborghini normally aspirated V10 is there for you to see as well as anyone walking by. Well, at this point, there is only so much I can take of talking about the Huracan, shall we? And the past few hours have only given me more reason to be enthusiastic about the new Huracan. It's refreshingly complicit in the way it behaves and yet find that right piece of open road and it steps up its game. In true Italian style, I'm going to try and describe the Huracan as mind, body and soul. So mind equals technology and obviously the Huracan comes brimming with the latest technology that a modern sports car can offer. But the way the intellect, the intelligence of the system works is if you fall below any particular preset, the car will revert to the right settings for that sort of environment, depending on your input, the car's input, the car's dynamics, and the road. And now for the body. Like everything in life, it's all about a well-presented chassis. And that is the beauty of it. Increased torsional rigidity with less weight. It's definitely responsible for this quick change of direction from the Huracan. And last but not least, we have the Soul, which communicates to you via the screaming tones of that V10, the Italian symphony at work. Okay, so is this the best Lamborghini ever? I promised myself I wasn't going to say this, but I think the answer is definitely yes. Well, until they make a better one. <laughs> <laughs>